Welcome to AI Toolbox. Today we're looking at Fiber AI and their newest release, which is called Super Studio. Uh, so Fiber AI is one of the earliest AI video and image tools out there. It's one of the first ones that I used. It stood out at the time because it was really user friendly, um, easy to just jump right in and start creating videos and images without having to have a complicated setup or anything like that. Now they have released their newest platform called Super Studio, and it gives you a lot more options and really expands your capabilities. Today, we're going to specifically look at how to use it to create images. First things first, sign up for Kyber and they offer a free monthly program. You get 200 credits a month. This is a good way to jump in and try it out, see if you like it. There'll be a link in the video description. Check that out. Sign up, create an account. Back to Super Studio. Basically, what Kyber is doing here is unifying your workflow into one big canvas. Similar to tools like Figma, you can be working on a host of different things from videos to images to animation, all in one workspace, and you can create flows for your projects. It also brings in popular AI models into this space like Flux, Luma, Minimax, and Runway. Kyber also has its own proprietary models. When you first jump in, it can be a little overwhelming. So we're just going to start kind of uh, just at a beginner level. First things is when you first go into Super Studio, they have this playground. And the purpose of this is to show you how you use specific functions and different options that you have. But we're going to start from scratch. That'll make this more useful because when you first look at it, it's like kind of confusing. But the first thing you can do is create a new canvas. I already have one started here. To so jump in, you just click this little plus menu. It's called a flow menu. You're going to start with your first flow. We're going to be creating an image. We're going to use the image lab, select this, and then zoom into it. So you can either have it create something from scratch, or you can have it modify an existing photograph. We're going to create something from scratch. Now you can give it a lot more descriptors and the more descriptors usually the better. You can also control the aspect ratio and the sizing. We're just going to start simple robot elephant, click this little smiley face. As you see, it tells you how many credits this costs. It's only cost one credit and then it's going to generate the image. And here is my robot elephant. Very impressive, like in terms of how quick this and easy this is. Next, we're going to experiment with how this works if you use an existing image. I just went to Unsplash and I found an image that I liked. These are royalty free free use. So my image was originally too large. I reduced the size down. Now we're going to make her into a digital cyborg. Scroll over and click this. It finished. And this is my original image right here. And then this is my new like digital cyborg. Let's go into some other models. I went back up into my flows and I selected Minimax. And that's another image model. This is a more expensive model. As you see here, it's, it's going to cost 50 credits. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the image that I just created. When you create new images, they're going to appear here in like this collection section. And you can just drag it over if you want to keep building on an image that you're working with, enhancing it, maybe using other models. I've entered in my subject prompt and I got more specific on this one. What we want to do in this image is we want to have circuitry embedded into her skin. And we're also adding more aesthetic prompts, specifying the types of colors and just the overall vibe. Let's apply this, see what we get. While that's generating, let's go back over to our original image that we created and remove the image that we uploaded. Just click that button. I'm going to enter the same prompt that I did in the, this other model, Minimax. So this is the output that results from human woman transformed into a digital cyborg. Here are my image lab creations. We started with the, the robot elephant, and then we got the cyborg woman, and then we used an existing photo and transformed this woman into this woman. Then Flux is very different. So this is the same human woman transformed into a digital cyborg. I'm going to actually do the robot elephant using this as well. This is what Flux creates from the same robot elephant prompt. Okay. And my Minimax has finished. I originally thought I was creating an image, but it actually turns out that this is a video using the Minimax model. And we gave it this prompt of cyberpunk aesthetics with the intricate circuitry embedded into her skin. And then we use the AI image that we had modified from the original image. So now this is what it created. Wow. It's really interesting. That's the circuitry in her arm. And then these weird colors coming in. This needs a lot of work, but it's really pretty cool what it can do 
with little input. So this is how you can jump into Kyber and use its image creation tools and models. And this is just my appetizer in terms of everything you can do. I'll be back with more videos. The next video I'm going to get into using their video models. Please leave any comments, questions, or if you have experience with Kyber, love to hear about it. And like I said, there'll be a link to Kyber in the video descriptions. See you soon.